Here's the politics. China hitting back in the wake of U.S. sanctions on Chinese officials. A spokesman for the Chinese Foreign Ministry saying the following. In response to the United States' wrong behaviors, China has decided to impose sanctions on those individuals who have behaved badly on Hong Kong-related issues. Let's bring in Kevin Cirilli, Washington Chief, Washington Correspondent. Kevin, let's start right there, shall we? I imagine this is a badge of honor for Cruz, Rubio and Cotton this morning in D.C. Exactly. And, and, and I don't think there's going to be any complaints from, from those Republican senators. Uh, and, and you mentioned Senator Cotton, Cruz, and Rubio, but also Senator Pat Toomey. Uh, he was one of the lead co-sponsors on the bill that was recently enacted into law uh, that would uh, force there to be more financial disclosures for Chinese companies uh, that are trading on U.S. exchanges, Jonathan. But from a broader standpoint, in conversations that I have uh, with the sources familiar with the U.S.-China relations at this point, I can tell you you that this is only going to continue. Now, while no U.S. administration officials were uh, sanctioned, uh, the, the tension is continuing to mount between the U.S. and China. And over the next couple of uh, weeks, really, I, I would anticipate, based upon my reporting, that additional actions be taken. Look at the model that India has taken as it relates to about 70 apps that they've banned from China. Look at the action that the administration took last week uh, in terms of China on sanctions and on uh, additional uh, actions with apps. I, I have my eye on the relationship with Huawei uh, and Huawei's relationship with U.S. businesses. I think that could be a potential flashpoint that's brewing as well. Kevin, just to draw your attention to Marco Rubio out on Twitter on his personal account, the first line in his bio right now has changed. It's now banned in and sanctioned by China. Do you think this just emboldens the senators that have been the China hawks to go even further down in Washington? I do. Uh, and, 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 and to be quite honest with you, I think that if you're staring down the, the, the policy of where this is headed with Huawei, the policy of where this is headed with big tech companies and their relationship in the longer term with China, you know, Silicon Valley right now is wrapped up in, in intense uh, uh, regulatory debate with not only Republicans but Democrats as well. And while there may be uncertainty about the legislative calendar and the legislative agenda for the next calendar, Calendar year after November 3rd, one thing has, uh, has emerged certain, which is that the tension between the United States and China is only going to continue, and those emboldened hawks are only going to feel stronger, even if they should become a minority party. Uh, but when I talk to advisors on the presumptive nominee Biden campaign uh, on China, they also are, are, are taking an aggressive approach. So this isn't going away.